Why doesn't Genesis release the multitracks? My answer will be all just a big guess. I think that releasing them will ruin the magic of the songs. And I'm using the word magic because revealing the multitracks will reveal the tricks to many songs. After many years of editing Genesis, I can confidently say that mixing a few tracks with the same chords seems impossible, because they do this multi-layer playing. The trick is on the tail end of the beat, where they hint at the other and change to another different while the other remains in the background. There are many songs where they mix and match chords that quite don't fit somehow, they do and resolve. In editing the song Domino, I realized about this, and the analysis of One for Divine by another well-known YouTuber that talks about this, so it's a case of that, although in most cases it would be really cool if they release the multitracks, like the drum patterns they use or Mike's bass, but at the end of the day it will happen the same that has happened with all the others that have released those isolated multitracks, they make the copyright system stronger here on YouTube, so I am glad they are not released officially, at least not in here.